Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some popcorn for you. This is Mike popcorn. It's made by Frito Lay. Uh, mine is the Popcornopolis strawberry and cream. So where did we get the Big Lots donate? A dollar ninety nine at Big Lots from I would have thought we have tried so many flavors of Popcornopolis. I would have thought we've tried that. And if somebody finds it on the channel, that's fine. We're just gonna try it again because I couldn't find it. I looked for it to see if we tried it, and it's like, well, we really Popcornopolis is like a really good brand, and so it's like it's willing. Uh, I'm willing to uh, spend a dollar ninety nine. It's worth it to me to try them again if we've tried them before. And then the Mike popcorn was sent to us from Michael um, in Kansas, uh, but he got these from a Munch Pie. So it says Mike popcorn butter show you S H O Y U. Um, it's, uh, like I said, it's from a munch pack. It's a product of Japan. It's made by Frito Lay. <laughs> okay. This is why they're good for munch pack, because you cannot get them up. They're not open on their own. They're not going to open on their own in transit. No. It smells, it smells like strong. butter popcorn. Mm -hmm. It's strong smell. There's something there, but I don't know what it is. I know. Probably some fish sauce or something. We don't. They like their um, fish-based flavors over there in Japan. And you know, it's not bad. It's there's something light. just a little different, but not enough to make me not want to eat it. Mm -mm. And the whole meter is at about four out of five. Yeah, yes, there's, it, a lot of holes. there's a lot of holes in this. I agree. Um, it's good. It's not really what I'd call salty. It's definitely not buttery. Um, it's it only does, 80 calories for the whole bag. It does have a little bit of a, some flavor there, but I don't know what it is. I know, because when you put it in your mouth, when you're chewing it, there's a point when it's in your mouth, and I'm sure you're experiencing the same thing, where you think, this is gonna turn fishy. Mm -hmm. But then it really doesn't. Then it goes away and it's just back to popcorn. Mm -hmm. So well, the aftertaste is a little it's it's not fishy, it's not that strong, right. but it's, it's kind not of there. different. I don't mind this at all. I could eat this. I would like if you've ever had seaweed, it's kinda of like that same kind of aftertaste. Oh, it's not no, as strong, no, no. but I'm just saying it's kinda of like that where you get that little aftertaste. But no, to me, this I could definitely eat this. Yep, I do think it it's has too though. many holes in it. Yeah, it's, um, holy. it's very holy. But I'm surprised um, you don't get a clue about the flavor from the front. It's got like a little green thing, a leaf or something. Well, no, it does not taste whatever that. It, it looks like a like a, leaf a big something. lettuce leaf. <laughs> it, does. it does not taste like that. Honestly, uh, it just tastes like butter popcorn for the most part. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it at all. Yeah, there's a big picture of it on the back. You know. But that's why I don't like to... Sometimes I'll look things up before we do the review. And sometimes I don't because it's like... It's kind of nice to just form your own judgment of what it tastes like sometimes too. Uh, so completely different end of the spectrum is the Popcornopolis. Uh, and we found this was the last bag of this at Big Lots. Uh, made with real strawberries, made with real vanilla, American grown corn. Uh, eight servings in the bag, one and a fourth cups, 28 grams is 150 calories. This is strawberries and cream. Popcornopolis. Strawberry kettle corn with vanilla icing. It's definitely strawberry. The texture, there's some salt. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. The strawberry is very sharp though. Oh, I love this. Have you gotten a little, do you mm -hmm. think it's a little sharp? Like oh a, yeah. A very, like a very tart strawberry. Like candy. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I it's love okay. this. Mm -mm. I would eat the whole bag. Eight servings in the bag. It would be eight servings. You know what the difference too? There's no holes. No, very mm -hmm. little. 
None. I didn't get any. Yeah. This would be like a one or two. I wouldn't give it any. Um, I, get, I get halls. I get the bottom of the hall meter. Um, it, um, it, because it's that kettle corn, it has a crispy, a thin, crispy crust on the outside. And I love that zing of strawberry. I mean, it oh, really. It does have a zing. It does. I give this a five out of five. I think this is perfection. I love it. Yeah, it's probably more of a three out of five for me. Really? Okay. I get the strawberry. I mean, literally, I could sit here and eat the whole bag. I think it's a joke that it's eight servings. It kills me because my heart actually says, do what your heart says. My heart wants to eat that whole bag. That's it's what it wants to do. Yeah, that's what it wants to do um, because it's excellent. You can't compare these two, though. I no, put these together. Is, they're just popcorn. Yeah, they're both popcorn. Michael sent us these, though, and I appreciate him sending it for me. I think it's cool. If I could eat that all the time. I could, but I wouldn't choose to. I wouldn't choose to because it has too many holes. I'm going to choose the Popcornopolis, of course, because it's sweet. But I do think it was uh, fun getting to try it, oh yeah, Blaze, Blaze Japan. Mm -hmm. So I hope you all enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.